little burnt today. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My, oh, I don't like when my bangs are parted like that. My name is Molly and in today's video, I thought I would go through, do a little haul, I suppose, of these two bags full of books that my grandma gave me. Um, you'll see ah, in my last video, in my last video, I went and visited my grandma. She gave me these two bags of books and I kind of rummaged through them, but I don't know what is in them. So I thought it'd be fun to go through them. Um, she, I don't think has read any of these. I think she, she doesn't remember where they came from. They just kind of appeared at her house, whether it was my aunt dropped them off or a friend of hers dropped them off. She doesn't remember, but they've just been in her house sitting there. So she knows I like to read. So she just asked if I would take them. <laughs> so let's go through and see what is in ugh, these bags of books. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna go through these. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna like read the synopsis of every book because there are probably 50 books in here. Um, I also not sure how I'm gonna do this. Maybe, there we go, that'll work. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna go through each and every synopsis, but I'll say the author and the title of the book and if I'm interested, I suppose, in reading them. Um, most of these books I will probably end up taking to like a little free library or my local used bookstore. Um, I can't imagine I'll really be interested in most of these books, but you never know. You never know. The first one sitting right on top is a little dusty and this is The Time Between by Karen White. Yeah, I really don't feel like reading, like look how, how long that is. Um, I suppose if any of you have read this, if any of you have read any of these books and you recommend that I read them, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll actually turn my comments on for this video. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous about what people will say in comments, but um, yeah, this is the first book. I'm just gonna start a stack. Maybe, maybe that's not a good idea. This one I am actually interested in reading. Um, mostly just because I really like the cover of it. I think it's really cool looking. It's Bittersweet by Danielle Steele. Look at this little cutie on the back. Love that. Um, I've never read one of her books before. This Does this even have like a synopsis? Um, a Literary Phenomenon. Uh, I never read one of her books before. So I don't know, is it like a thriller or a romance? I have no idea, but maybe Maybe I'll, I'll do a, like a little video on reading whatever books I decide to keep from these bags. Sandra Brown, Tough Customer. I'm assuming this is a thriller. It looks a little thriller-esque. Whoa, she looks like a badass. I've never read Sandra Brown. That's dangerous, I'm not gonna do that. Um, we got Luann Rice, Light of the Moon. I'm assuming this is probably a contemporary fiction, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Contemporary fiction or romance? I don't know. Don't know. Next, we got The Devil's Own by Sandra Brown. Uh, I'm assuming, I, I don't know. I don't know what to assume actually by that and there's no cover on it. So I don't know if it's a thriller, if it's a romance. I don't, it doesn't really sound like a romance, but let me know if you know what it's about. Next, we have Nora Roberts, The Witness. Never read Nora Roberts either. Um, I don't really know how interested I am. I do know my boyfriend's mom reads a lot of Nora Roberts. So maybe I'll see if she wants any of these. This is kind of a funky one. I'm actually gonna put the bag down for this. Um, it is Journey Today Before Yesterday. Um, and it looks like it's just like there's a covered bridge. Maybe this might be one that I do keep. Um, oh, that is so 
cute. Oh, okay. I'm interested now. Look at that horse with a hat. So cute. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is like a historical fiction or maybe it's just like little um, stories. I'm not sure. But that's fun. Maybe I'll read it and I'll let you guys know. Um, and then we have three more. Barbara Delinsky. Delinsky. Uh, the Summer I Dared, which honestly, she kind of looks like Reba. <laughs> um, I don't know. This does take place on an island. Like, uh, it looks like it's kind of like a Nantucket kind of vibe, which I am into that. Um, I think it, it sounds like it's a romance. So I could probably get behind that. Oh, more, more Barbara Delinsky. This is Lake News. Oh, that's kind of a pretty cover. I do like that. And then Facets. This one, I, I can pretty much guarantee I will not be reading that. That cover does nothing for me. That's it for the first bag. Maybe I over-exaggerated when I said 50, because that was only three, six. That was only 10. So maybe like 20 books here. Um, let's see. Next bag, more Sandra Brown. This is Charade. Um, Medical Miracle gives TV personality Kat Delaney more than a new heart. Um, hmm. Paige Turner, compelling heroine, heart stopping. Probably will pass this along to someone else. This one I'm excited about, but I do worry I already have this book. Um, the Summer Affair. I am trying to read through all of her backlog, Ellen Hildebrand's backlog, which her books are right next to me. So let's see. I do not. I do not own this one yet. So that's exciting. I will be keeping this. Mary Higgins Clark, Two Little Girls in Blue. I've never read one of her books either, and I don't think... I will read this one. So we'll pass that one along. Jonathan Kellerman, Rage. Not going to read that. Um, Barbara Taylor Bradford, Just Rewards. Looks like a romance. I probably won't read it, but maybe, maybe I'll keep some of these more like kind of cliche romance books. Maybe I'll keep them and give them a read. Um, a, a pretty busted Barbara Taylor Bradford voice, voice of the heart. And let's see. Scott Turo, personal injuries. I don't care for these kind of like law, mystery, crime books. I'm not into those. So passing that along. Um, John Grisham, The Racketeer. Passing that along. This one has like very faded edge, no cover, but it is The Old Gray Homestead by Francis Parkinson Keys. Published in 1943. I do think this is one that actually was my grandma's because it says her name from mom and dad. So I will be keeping this one. And then only two more books. Well, this is going to be quick. Danielle Steele, Fine Things. Um, wow, look at that glamour shot. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll read that either. And then Danielle Steele, First Sight. Another romance, I assume. Maybe I'll give this one a try. Maybe. Maybe I'll do a video on, you know, reading some of these, how I feel about them. But yeah, so not 50, not even close to 50. What was that? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 books. So that's it. Quick little video. Uh, let me know if any of these books are any good. Um, maybe I'll give them a read 
If not, I will pass them along to someone who will enjoy them more than I would. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.